Let's take a look at Elements Output and Global Settings. Sort of the last thing in the signal chain, but probably, arguably, the most important. So right down here, we've got a few things. We've got a tempo setting that we can alter right away. So aside from the master tempo setting, the default one that loads up, on each patch you can save a specific tempo setting. You can click on it and bring it up and down, or you can double click and type right in the box and hit enter. And you've got a source for that tempo. So do you want Element to use the internal 115? Or if you're using a host software like MainStage, Logic, or Digital Performer, then it will automatically slave to what that host software is pumping out. And it's cool to have the flexibility because sometimes you don't want that. I mean, maybe you want your synth to sort of live on its own. You're not using the tempo data to necessarily use delay, but you're using it for LFOs and it's making your phaser just sort of phase at the perfect rate. You don't want it to phase at the tempo of the song because your tempo of your song is like 150 and you have it phasing at, you know, 76.9 or whatever. So sometimes you'll want it slave to the host of your song, most of the time probably, if you're going to use the tempo for delays and things like that. But if you're using your tempo for LFOs and other things like that, you might want to have it synced to internal and sort of not bound to the speed of the song or host software that you're using. We've got the number of voices that Element can output, and this is important for your CPU power because if you keep it really low, then again, you can double click in there or you can click on it and drag it up and down. You'll be able to go up to 16 voices. Element will produce up to 16 voices at once maximum and all the way down to one. So if I play a chord right now, let's say I play a chord with uh, this patch. You can hear all three voices because I've got it on eight, but if I put it to one, even though this patch is not set to be a monophonic patch, it is because it only, it's going to be because it's only, I've restricted waves to only letting me play one voice at a time. So that's a good way to keep your CPU in check if you're running waves and other stuff and you're sort of teetering on the edge. You can limit the amount of voices that waves can do. It'll start killing off the older, oldest voices when it needs to. You've got HD mode which is what gives Waves a little bit of extra clarity and punch at the top end, some more internal headroom for its internal processing. So HD mode is going to make everything, you know, mo for the most part sound better at the cost of CPU cycles. There are some patches that were designed to sound a little dirty and might sound better with the HD mode off, because remember, we are, uh, in addition to being its own synthesizer, it also is emulating some old gear, and, and we want some of that stuff to have some dirt and grit and digital clipping and things like that. But for a lot of the patches that are not emulating older stuff but are just sort of living on their own, it might be good to have that HD thing turned on because now you're giving it a lot more room to work with dynamically, and you're giving it a little bit of extra power at the top end to kind of make those sounds sparkle a little bit. Again, it is going to hit your CPU a little bit, but... If you're just running one instance of Waves and a few other things, it's really worth it. And then finally, you've got your output, both a output meter and gain. The gain will go from everywhere from 0 to negative 80 decibels, and that can be on a per patch basis. So you'll notice as I flip through some presets, uh, the gain can be adjusted so that you can smooth out your, your stuff. And of course, we can see the meters nice hanging in the yellow there. So that's how we can check, you know, how much we're saturating the audio bus with Waves Element, aside from your fader on your DAW and that kind of thing. That's the global and output section, sort of the last stop in your signal chain, but arguably one of the most important.